sweating your little happy heart out, probably down to your ankles. <laughs> and then someone comes in and greets you and you're like, why, why? Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey you guys, what's up? So my hair is very awkward. The camera's so far away so I can't really see what it looks like, but it's, I can just tell it does not look nice. In today's video, y'all, I'm gonna be talking about awkward situations in Germany that I've had to deal with for years of my life here. Um, but before I get started, I wanted to say two things. I'm sorry for being so inactive, you guys, on YouTube. I took a little break. YouTube can be a roller coaster of emotions and feelings, and sometimes you just need to step back and say, you know what, I need to take a break. And that's what I did. But now I'm back. I'm happy. I love YouTube again. And I missed y'all. I missed a lot of y'all. Not all of y'all, because some of y'all are mean, but most 99.9% .9 of y'all I missed. And also the second thing that I wanted to say is that I did an interview or a podcast or I'll try to insert a video so you guys have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. I'm going bananas. Um, with a guy named Ian. He has a podcast called Going Bananas and we just did, I think like one, a little less than one hour of talking. We went over everything of living in the United States, living in Germany, cultural comparisons, personal life, all that good stuff. So if you guys have time and you wanna watch what I think is a interesting interview, you can check the link down below. Um, and thank you for Ian and his team for interviewing me. So yeah, I guess we'll get right into the video now. Long intro. How do you say? Lange Rede Kurzsinn, I think is the word. <laughs> we can get right into it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it's free. Help me out. Help you out. Help us out. So yeah, the first thing I'm gonna talk about, which I feel like is the longest one that I could talk about because it's going to include a whole bunch of different instances and it's going to be saying hello and awkward situations. So in Germany, I don't know what it is, but greeting people is considered to be very, how do you say höflich? I don't know what höflich means. Basically, it's good to greet people. And sometimes greeting people in awkward situations also equates to being höflich. So let's say that you're in the doctor's office, you're dying of sickness, and then someone knocks randomly on the waiting room door, walks in. What happens? That person says hello, and then everybody else sitting in the waiting room says hello. It's like birds, chirp, 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 chirp. Everyone greets everybody. You could be dying of pneumonia, you could have a broken leg, and people will still greet you. Um, I always find it to be so awkward. I don't greet people when I walk into a waiting room. If you've ever seen me in a doctor's office and I've never said hi to you or anything or just greeted um, the room, it's because I just find it to be so awkward. I just like to go sit down, especially when I'm sick go sit down in the back of a room <laughs> and I don't want to be bothered you know Germans are known for not having or not engaging in small talk but yet when you go into an elevator which I feel like is very closed corners um, everyone's close together uh, it's very awkwardly tight and quiet in there but as soon as someone comes in they will say hello and then Everybody else in the elevator will either groan, say hello back, or be silent. And then you'll have places where you go to, let's say, in a sauna or into a dressing room where everyone's naked, you'll say hello as well. And I'm just like, why? <laughs> like, I will be standing there, but naked. And then a lady will walk in, look at me, hello, and I'm like, but yeah, the greetings, I think it's very sweet, I think it's very kind, but it can be very awkward in certain situations, especially when you're sitting in a sauna, sweating your little happy heart out, probably down to your ankles, <laughs> and then someone comes in and greets you, and you're like, why, why? Moving on from that, I'm gonna now talk about nudity, which some of this might be TMI, especially for the guys, because I feel like guys complain about these types of things all the time, but in Germany, I've talked about this many times, nudity is usually acceptable in certain scenarios, more so than in the United States, I should say, because there are gonna be people that say, oh, well, nudity is not acceptable everywhere. We have certain rules, very true, but when comparing it to the United States, they're not as prudish 
here. The first time I ever went to the sauna in Germany, I've had like a few, like three or four stories of my horrible encounter in a sauna and why I don't go to them anymore because it's just an always an awkward situation for me. One of the first times I ever went, I went with a bikini and a towel on and I remember walking in and it was a co-ed sauna. So it basically means that there are men and women mixed and most of the people were naked. So I went in there in my bikini and my towel and I sat down and some lady came up to me. She was butt naked and she was like, You're you're not allowed to have that on and I was like what what do you mean <laughs> I'm not allowed to have that on what do you mean that on my shoes and she's like no the towel you have to be naked and then what I did was I rose up walked to the left and left and never came back and never looked back but moving forward you know it was fine for me I got accustomed to it but it's just an awkward situation if you're coming from a place that uh, nudity, uh, nudity in the steam room, nudity in the sauna is not something that is normal um, to just be thrown in your face. Even in Florida and we're pretty, you know, open and liberal regarding the human body and stuff. My friends and I, when I came back from Germany and I got like naked and I put a towel just under over myself and we went into the sauna, everyone was freaking out that I was actually naked under the towel and I didn't have clothes on underneath and they could not believe it. The next one that's regarding nudity, you guys, and like I said, this one might be TMI, but it's when you go to a Frauen Arzt. I'm only saying Frauen Arzt because I'm not a male, a man, and I have no idea what you guys do at your male doctor visits, but when you are a girl, you're supposed to go get a annual checkup. And that's what I did recently. And I haven't been to Germany in a long time, y'all. I spent one year in the United States. And so I'm used to what they're doing and how they do things in the United States. So coming back to Germany, I was in the um, office with this lady or her like room, the procedure room? I don't know. The office no so I was in this room and she basically just told me get naked and so I was like okay no big deal so I thought she was going to leave I thought she was going to put up like a little I don't know one of those little Chinese folding um, dividers for the room or give me a sheet or hold something up leave I have no idea what I thought she was gonna do but I didn't think she was gonna be sitting there right in the same vicinity as me while I was undressing. And it was so awkward for me at first, but then like we started talking, everything was fine. It was quite normal. She didn't really make it awkward as she shouldn't, that's her job. It's just this little tiny fraction of time and space that you get in the United States to, I guess, compensate for being nude and someone seeing you nude. Those were the nudity ones, you guys. I think I'm gonna stop talking about them because this video might get demonetized. I might have to blur out or um, lower some words that I said so I don't get demonetized. So yeah, hopefully that was not too much information. The next situation that is pretty awkward and that has happened to me time and time again, which I really hate this and it might not be awkward for you, but for me, I don't know why it is because I probably will never ever see these people ever again in my life. But when you are running because you know that your train, tram, bus, any form of public transportation, like you're late and you know it's going to leave and you run, 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 and then you can see it, but you get close to the door, you touch the door to open it, and the person drives away and everyone in the bus is just looking at you. People in the tram are just looking at you, staring at you while you literally just coughed up a lung to try and catch it. For some people, like I said, this might not be awkward, but for me, this is one of the most awkward situations that I have ever encountered in Germany. I feel like the bus drivers and the public transportation drivers, they get joy out of leaving people behind. I feel like for them, it's a video game <laughs> or something. Like how many people can we leave behind if they're running at full speed to get to us and the last and final point you guys which hopefully this video is not too long which is something that I feel only happens in Germany or that I've only witnessed in Germany I have not witnessed this in the United States and maybe it's just social acceptance for certain points of life or things that you do in life and it is when people blow their nose aggressively or sometimes they even like dig in their noses aggressively y'all I don't know what it is and I'm sorry if you do this, but for me it's just something that I cannot do in public. If I have to blow my nose and it's going to be relatively loud, I will go somewhere where someone cannot hear me because I find it, the noise itself to be like nails on a chalkboard for me, it sounds disgusting. And also, um, you will just sometimes be in a space with someone, <laughs> like let's say in a S-Bahn, um, let's say that you're in a waiting room and then someone has to blow their nose. Sometimes it'll be someone taking a tissue and I don't know, playing a trumpet with their nostrils. They'll be like, <laughs> 
and then they're like wiping their nose and like shaking their nose to make sure they get the last booger out or something and i'm just sitting there like you're, you've, you're kidding me, right? I know that it shouldn't be a disgusting thing because it's normal, everyone has to blow their nose. But for me, it's so awkward because it's such a nasty, disgusting sound. It's so ugh. And sometimes when I'll sit there and you'll see people like trying to get a booger out of their nose. And I don't know if this is a German thing or if this is like a male thing because I usually don't see women doing this. It's usually just men, um, but I've only witnessed this in Germany. So, like I said, you guys can let me know. There'll be a man sitting sometimes, and it'll be relatively inconspicuous. Like, it's not like they're just digging in their nose with a humongous finger all the way up into their brain or something, but they're just like slowly, you know, very softly, you know, digging in there, trying to get the little booger in the back, and it's just like, what the heck? are you doing <laughs> so yeah those are my awkward situations you guys i hope this didn't make anyone disgusted i hope this didn't freak anyone out if you have awkward situations that have happened to you before in germany or anywhere in the world you can let me know in the comment section other than that you guys thank you so much for watching and bye